Citizen Zoo is a new organisation and we aspire to live in a world filled with wildlife and we see communities as the key, the heart of the solution to bringing back species and restoring ecosystems. And we work in a whole range of projects from restoring water voles, from rewilding our urban environments and even trying to bring back large marsh grasshoppers. We started working on the large marsh grasshopper project because we think it is one of the most handsomest species of grasshopper in the UK, but it's also one of the rarest. It was once found throughout the east and southeast of England and is now only found in a few small pockets of the south of England. So a couple of years ago we got together with Natural England, the Wildlife Trust and Norfolk Wildlife Trust to set up a project to save them. And so what we do every year is we go down to these pockets and collect wild hoppers. We want to ascertain that we're not damaging the site by taking too many from any particular site that we go to. So we'll uh, survey the site and get a, an idea of total numbers to begin with. Um, and we'll spread out in a line and then walk slowly across. We'll count everything we uh, see or hear as we go through mainly the males that are calling and they're calling by flicking their back leg off their wing, uh, making a, a clicking sound. In this country it's our biggest grasshopper by quite a distance. The nymphs are fairly toned down, they're brown and grey and black, but when they turn adult you get this wonderful green yellow insect with red hind legs. We're counting both males and females and we have one person who's uh, acting as a recorder making notes of uh, what the group comes across and on the basis of that if there's a decent number we'll go back through the site and we'll collect one in every ten uh, individuals so we're collecting 10% uh, of what we record. And what we then do is together with our volunteers who we call citizen keepers we train them in grasshopper husbandry to rear these hoppers to adulthood. Three years ago, we had our first uh, round of citizen keepers rearing the grasshoppers in their own homes. And uh, it went better than we could have really imagined. We give them a tray with moist sand with egg pods in it, with eight or 10 egg pods. Each of the egg pods contains 10 or 15 eggs. And so potentially they have enough eggs to rear 150, 100, 150 grasshoppers. At the end of each season we release them into the wild and we've been doing that for a couple of years now. It's been a tremendous success and we hope to continue the project until the species is restored throughout its historical range. So, so far we've already introduced over 2,000 individuals into sites across Norfolk, some of which have become self-sustaining. And this is a fantastic example of using local communities to help support conservation projects. It's been a fantastic project so far and we're looking to expand it again next year. So for anyone who wants to get involved, it would be great if you could consider becoming members or donating to the project. All right, is it forced? <laughs> I got there's too many S's in there. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, All right. I'm so sorry. You can just edit this bit out there. Yeah. All right. I'm there. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm good. That's really what what drives us and what motivates us to continue this project in the years to come. That doesn't make sense. Let's start again. <laughs>